Hello, Internet! I'm Alex the Purple Doofus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today, we are covering the third quarter of Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Ruffus. I hope you've read up to that point yourself, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. Unfortunately, that mystery girl that we saw at the end of the last section did not pop up in this one. She may never pop up, because we only have one section left. In this one, we have Ari, and she is waking up, and she is putting putting things in their place in her room. Patrick Rothfuss talks about how she has limited matches, limited times that she can light her lamp and light her room. She decides that she's going to go take a shower. She's going to go take a bath of some kind. She's going to go clean herself. And she goes there and she finds that a critter has eaten all of her soap. And it makes her so angry that she almost like just destroys the creature. And she goes and she hunts it down. We find out that it's a baby skunk. A baby skunk has eaten like a winter's worth of soap. And so she's like scooping up the baby skunk trying to be like, why did you eat my soap? Why did you eat my soap? Why did you, ow! And it bit her and it made her sad. She was like, oh. She was just really sad that something so beautiful and so cute was just rude to her. And it's adorable, but I just, I want more story. Then she decides if she's ever going to get clean, she needs to make more soap. So she goes out and she goes searching for things to mix into a pot so that she can cook up some soap. She gets some apples, she gets some other things, and she's mixing it all up. And she's also looking around and she sees a bottle. And this bottle is just a gorgeous bottle and it's got blue shining liquid in it and she looks in on the bottom and it's got an inscription to my love so and so something like that and you find out that it's perfume she's like oh i need to find a place for this this is not in the right place so she puts it back in the right place and she goes back to cooking her soap she's boiling it and she's cooking it and she's stirring it all up and she's like you know this soap is adequate but i mean i do i really want to be surrounded by adequate for the rest of the winter i mean i i there should be more there should be more to this right and then she's like maybe that bottle that i just found the sweet smelling liquid maybe i should put that in here yes i should put it in here that's perfect and she takes the perfume and she puts some in the soap and she's like mixing it up still it takes you through the process of making soap and she's like squeezing it out of this loincloth into a bottle and it's just not quite adding up to what she was hoping for. It's giving her enough to bathe for today, but it's not quite what she was hoping for. She rinses off all of the dirt that she acquired making the soap, and then she goes back to her gear, and she's just like, oh, gear, you're so perfect. Why can't I find a place for you? She just kind of holds it close to herself. She's like, I just love you so much, gear, and I can't wait to give you to him. There have been many allusions to the fact that him is close. She talks about how him gave her her name, Ari, and that was Quoth. So that kind of ruins my idea of maybe it's Elodin, because Quoth was away a lot longer than just seven days. And if we get to the end of this book and Quoth shows up, well, ha. Ah. And if we get to the end of this book and Quoth doesn't show up, then ah, she's going to be sad. But I guess we'll find that out in the next video. In the next one, we finish this story. In the video after that, I will be covering the entirety of the lightning tree. So get ready for that. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and click the like button. And go ahead and leave a comment letting me know what is your favorite soap. Because Ari is definitely making her favorite soap. So what's yours? I have been Alec the Purple Air Divis. This has been Buddy Reads reminding you to watch with the cameras. And I will see you all in the finale of The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Ruffles. Toodles!